Oh man, what is this? It's insanity. It's complete tyranny. It's Fantasy Star 4. This is the base is loaded. I'm Lucas. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to Motavia. We beat the space station with the Dark Force. I'm going to see if there's any jobs at the Hunter's Guild. There probably aren't, but why not? We'll take the cold man to the hot planet, to the space fish, to see if there's any gerbils at the store. It's a good plan for everyone. Rock that music out, funky robot. Is this the most wise choice of a game for me to play? I don't know. YouTube's broken. There's no way for me to make money on this with the way things stand. I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like. So here I am. It's a good hobby. It is floral scented. You're giving me information. There's nothing to do. Go away. I'm getting out of here. I'm going back to the place where it's cold. Here we go. This was a complete waste of time. Am I going to keep this in? Probably, because I said a bunch of crap here that I want to keep in the video, I think. I recommend looking that song up so you can actually hear the rest of it. Alright. So, we got a new item. Let's go to town with this. Don't need those, don't need those, don't need those. This is all the song you see here. Gonna put some strange and dangerous items into the economy marketplace. That's it, my friend. Goodbye. Goodbye. You don't have anything interesting. You're boring. Go away. We got some new stuff. A new car. We're going to drive it far. Am I far enough away from town? Yes, I am. Look at that sleek body with points on it. I broke the ice and met some talons of owls. Check out our optins. Can use napalm. We can get attacked. Burns them. They die in a fire. It's pretty fun. Destroy a lot of things. Hey, I'll destroy your town while we're at it. Zosa. It's kind of like Zoso, only not Led Zeppelin at all. The town of Zosa, the egg of the Dizolis penguin, is our special product. You should rub it sometime. The Dizolis penguin is really cute. We made improvements to the Dizolis owl species so that they can be bred in captivity. Wouldn't you like to walk along with the Dizolis penguin? There's a person putting up a signboard to the west of town. Why don't you ask him? Chirp. Oh, it's so cute! Rune, don't you think it's cute? Not really. Do Dizolians read? It's a bunch of books. They sure seem to like to read. Well, then. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, are the books left out? There's a book sandwich inside another book. Must be a bookmark from the previous night. I mean, you're assuming a lot there, Chaz. Cultural exchange. Similar dishes. And a clean kitchen. Hey, you know what? Some Parmanian town has been completely destroyed. I wonder what happened. 
Ah, the Garuburg Tower. Come to think of it, I've seen a creepy tower east of here. Hey there, buddy. My job is to correct eggs. I walk behind them all day long so that I can... so they can weigh their eggs any time. You shouldn't say such unscientific things. How can a tower cause storms and make people sick? Hey, it's the Hacky Sack store. Oh, Pangu Feed can summon the Dizolus Penguin. Oh man, that sounds so exciting. I can use it on someone, eh? <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually tried that. Oops, I ate, Chaz ate the Pangu feed. I could see Chaz doing that. Or Rika. Oh! Pangu feed is stolen! I think everybody who plays this game does that at some point. You gotta just see it firsthand or secondhand. It has the Dizolian Penguin Companion written on it. Make that Dizolus Penguin a part of your group for today. The Dizolus Penguin will walk around town with you. This dreamlike experience is only yours for 500 Meseta. Of course you'll try it, won't you? I can't believe you would skip such an enjoyable experience. You guys certainly aren't bored-minded. Well then, enjoy. Be careful, because Penguin will weave you if you exit town or go inside a house. There is no point to this whatsoever. We would never eat the Dezoist Penguin. We do use their eggs for food, though. Cannot talk to your penguin. One thing I do not know. We've beaten Dark Force, but Dizolus is not recovering. I've been telling you, the problem lies in the Garuburk Tower. In any event, I do acknowledge there is a need to investigate Dizolus. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Hmm, the Garuburk Tower. I was hoping the penguin would, like, add in a chirp. That would have been fun. Same old hats. Same old hats. I told you, you need to change your hats regularly. There's somebody lurking over there. I must get there and speak to them. Oh, walk with the Dizoa's penguin. In that case, let me tell you something. If you go to the northwest, there's a valley somewhere where a lot of yellow animals live. And then if you go to the northeast, there's a strange building we can't figure out. You should go if you feel like it. Actually, that person might not talk to you if you don't have the penguin. So, there is a point to having the penguin. Ooh, another house. The penguin is gone. Waking news, the Gowerberg Tower is located beyond the forest of carnivorous trees. Apparently, it's not a place that you can get to. Well, thank you. I wonder if this guy says different things. Being human, don't you sometimes find yourself lost in thought? So don't bother me! Well, you're a charming fellow, aren't you? We've learned some things that I already knew having played this game. Is, uh, the name of the game in this game. And hey, we're back where we started because why? Because for some reason they just built the world this way. Ah, Protectibit. Napalm. That was not enough to kill them. Well, how about some more Nopalm? Goodbye, Bits! Goodbye, Bits. So 
So yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit of a world tour. No. Oh, you're, you're made of butts. Because you guys are annoying to fight. I mean, I guess I could try... You birds are just pecking me, aren't you? See, this one goes zippity-zap. Oh, I get a decent amount of money uh, fighting from uh, this this car ship. And it's a little slower, but let, let's uh, let's traverse on foot a little bit. See some other anemones. Let's see our weapons. She's got lightning claws. He's got a flame sword. He's got a gun gun. Oh. Ha, I picked the wrong thing. I need to choose sandwich. Ah, picking the wrong thing. I want to see what happens if I do that. And, um, let's just use that friend. Yeah, he's got a decent amount of those now. Whoops. Hey, it does work. Cool. I will hang on to those after I'm done. It's not so many of those in this game. Like, regular attacks <coughs> are probably, uh, um, stronger, but, um, you know, the, then there's these guys who don't do a thing, and I mean, he doesn't have access to it currently, but, uh, you know, whatever. Although, I mean, he could use... The Alice Sword! Why not? No, Flaley's actually not that bad. Still got some... some beef behind it. Still got the meat and potatoes. Rika must be pretty cold out here. I should be allowed to pay no attention to the status of my party. All right, we're off to the races. Got to hop back on the ice car. There is one thing I do want to show. What happens if you get attacked in the middle of the ice field? Come on, my friends. Of course, it's you. Use the empty sphere. Goodbye. It grows back all around you. All right. Mistvale. Not to be confused with Night Vale. It's a box. Trimate. Those taste good. What are you, Hungry Mole in Sky Tiara? Let's see now. Why not? All right, getting some more bananas for your factory. Fun for the whole family. Fun. I forgot what I was gonna say, but Stardew's good. 
Let's use letter A. Actually, I could have used another one, but whatever. Doesn't matter much. Cause you guys are dead. Nah, I'm alive. Alright. Kitty cats. This is the mysterious valley meow. Wow! It's a cat! And the cat talked! I'd like to think that cat... That cat... That Chaz is equally excited by the fact that it is a cat and that it talked. Like, if it was just a cat, he would be like, Wow! It's a cat! We are musk cats. We can talk meow. We get some kind of feeling from you, meow. Going to meet the old man, meow? I should have talked to the one on the left first. You guys are special, Meow. Yes, they are. <laughs> Somehow we get a feeling of fond remembrance from you. Normally, neither Parmanians nor Dezolians can enter this valley. Chaz, don't step on the cat. Very seldom do humans enter this place. In all of Dezolus, only this valley is warm. Mostly because the old man farts a lot. The old man has a treasure. Called Meow. We haven't even seen the old man's treasure. The beauty of the old man's shuttlecock is unparalleled. Excuse me. In this world. Does he want you talking about uh, his, his personal parts? I can get to the top off of this bottle. That's actually referential to Fantasy Star 1, when a cat could not get the top off of a bottle. The weather in Dizolus is rather strange these days. All that is left of the muscats are here. I'm imitating the old man. There he is. A shuttlecock is actually, uh, like, a hairdo or something, I think. Good of you to come, visitors. I'm the chief of this valley. Hmm. There is good in your eyes. No wonder you were let through. It's really strange. I have a feeling that this is not the first time we've met. I feel good about putting this in your care. This is a treasure that has been passed on generation after generation. Take it with you. It's the Silver Tusk. Here's the Silver Tusk. Please make good use of it. And the Silver Tusk... No! A secret treasure of the musk cats. I hope they don't stink. But nothing happens. Is a claw weapon, so we equip it to Rika. Which means that we now have a rewrite for a Marco. He can have a sandwich. And do. Thunderclaw. So there we are. And there's nowhere else in here. Cool beans. Coolest beanus. Oh! Whatever that name is. Ray Breath. What does that smell like? Let me just trade some blows of uh, zaps. Hey there, I win. Red Mole. 
Let's just see how this goes. Oh, these guys are kind of tough, apparently. But fire's a good attack here. Don't double slash her. That kills her. All right, then. But maybe not. Here's a town. Oh. Zombieville. didn't actually intend to retreat. So, question is, what is going on here? We got zombies. Doesn't look so good, does it? Cannot be used. I can't escape from this town of zombies. At least you can run away from them. Which does bring to mind, like... You know, the zombie apocalypse, and I mean, I realize people just get scared of that stuff, so they act stupid, because people are pretty dumb. But I mean... Okay, so this does tell me one thing that I do know. There's a lot of ruins in Mesopotamia. Sometimes you just gotta have a spontaneous moment of Fred Schneider for B-52s. I mean, what can I say? It, it, sometimes it's just the thing you do when you're gay. So, um... But, uh, but yeah, speaking of, of, of zombie apocalypse... Apocali? Uh, you know, like, you can basically just walk away from zombies. At the worst, you, you run from them. Shouldn't be that big a deal. But, because people are stupid and they panic... <laughs> that's funny. I shouldn't be here yet, really. I have spent a lot of time just kind of putzing around here with the things. I didn't realize how long it's been. But anyway, this is where I want to be. I'm going to tackle this thing now, which is an interesting thing. But not exactly now, because I want to do it in the next episode. So this is Lucas. This is The Base is Loaded. This is Fantasy Star 4. And I will see you next time.